flying enterprise ahead is the report as the motor trawler Anthony Stevenson picks up the convoy soon after dawn at the end of a 110 miles dash through the night. There's a heavy swell running as the little craft closes in for first water level newsreel pictures of the 6,700 ton American freighter under tow. To the lay eye, she looks flat on her side. In a storm of hurricane strength, part of her mixed cargo of antiques, pig iron and coffee is thought to have broken loose and slipped to her port side, causing her to list. When she cracked across the deck house and down her sides, water entered number three hold and over she went. This vivid picture shows the waves washing her boat deck. With his ship in this deadly peril, Captain Carlson ordered his 11 passengers and crew of 40 to jump into the sea to be picked up. All were saved. This lifeboat, swinging loosely, has since been carried away in a gale. There's three quarters of a million at stake here. That she's kept afloat so long seems nothing less than a miracle. But with the other holes still intact, there's just enough trapped air to keep her floating. Across her bow runs the five-inch wire cable, which Captain Carlson and mate Dancy managed to drag on board and secure. On board Turmoil, Captain Dan Parker tackles his toughest job. For 300 miles, Flying Enterprise has trailed unwillingly in his wake, half sunk and almost unmanageable. If success should reward him, his name will link worthily with Captain Carlson and Ken Dancy. What a reception awaits them if Flying Enterprise makes port after her tremendous adventure. We had hoped to bring you pictures of Carlson and Dancy, but they were too busy getting their ship ready for entering harbour at journey's end. <laughs>